Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hello, my little friend. Just a quick reminder, if you want to be in the cat club, talk to your guardian or your parents and make sure that you go to the link down below to become a patron so that you get your first three exclusive Heidi Cherry and Vea stories on the 7th of this month. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Are you ready to allow your body to relax and let go of your day? To get all snuggly and cuddly in bed. Cherry was sick. O-M-G, was she sick. Heidi and Vea had been taking care of her for the last three days. She had some kind of cold or flu or they just didn't know what it was but she was miserable. Cherry said, Oh, I'm so over it. I'm so over it. I can't feel my face. It's all cloggy and blocked and I can't breathe. I can't feel my nose. My nose is just all like, like, I don't know, like a brick. And I can't talk properly. And my throat and my chest hurts and my bones hurt. And I get all shivery and shaky and I'm so tired of it. How many days are you supposed to be like this? How many days am I going to be sick? I'm like, oh, I'm so over it. I want to go outside. I want to go and play. I want to go and like do things with my friends. I want to do anything but this. I don't like being sick. I don't think I've ever been sick before. Well, I am being sick for a really long time because I've got such a great immune system. I just don't know what happened. Heidi said, Well, sometimes when you get sick, it's also because of something that's going on with you emotionally. It doesn't always have to be physically. Cherry said, What? What do you mean? Heidi said, Well, Sometimes when we get sick, it's because we're stressed or we're upset about something or we're overwhelmed with something or sometimes something happens to us and our bodies just don't know how to process it and they get run down and they get sick. It's like an overload of emotion. Have you been emotional about anything? Faya said, Hmm, good point, Heidi, good point. Cherry said, Emotional me? I'm not emotional. I'm like a rock. I'm just constantly, well, no, I'm lying. I'm always emotional. I'm up and down and up and down and up and down and I feel so much. I think I'm an empath, Vea said. Hmm, empath, what does that mean? Cherry said, well, that's when you like feel everything. I bet that's it, Heidi, you're a genius. Because I do feel everything. I'm kind of like Mother Teresa or something. Or like, you know, like, (gasps) Like somebody, like, oh, the Buddha. I'm like that. You know, I'm so emotionally tuned in to everything and everyone around me that I get sometimes a little bit overwhelmed. Anyway, yeah, Vaya, when you're an empath, it means that you can feel other people's feelings. And you can you can sometimes allow other people's feelings to affect your feelings. And if you're not careful, you take on other people's feelings around you. So if somebody's really, really unhappy and depressed, if you're not careful when you're an empath, you might start feeling unhappy and depressed and not even know why if you're not tuned in. So you have to be really tuned in. And I am. You know what, I do? I know what it was. I was hanging around with a couple of friends. And they were all like talking about the futures and they were talking about things that they were going to do and how famous they were going to be and how how they were going to get to be famous. And I started thinking, you know, that I know I'm fame. I know I'm going to be famous one day. I know it. I can feel it in my body. I can feel it in my blood. (coughs) Oh, Oh, excuse me. I can feel it. I can feel it in my toes. I just know it. You know, when you just know, Faya said, yep. Yeah, me, me knows. 
Cherry said. Yeah, well, that's me. I just know I'm going to be famous. And it started all this tingling inside of my body because I was listening to them getting all excited about how they were going to be famous. And I was like, I'm destined to be famous. I know I'm going to be famous. I know I've got great things to offer to the world. And I know, I know that I need to do something about it. And then all of a sudden I got scared. I do, I was scared. I was scared about, about, about being great. Because I am, I know I am. And you wouldn't think I'd be scared. But I am, I, I was really scared about shining. That's it. Shining like a, a star. Shining in the sky like the brightest star that you see at night. I'm afraid, I'm a little bit afraid of it because what happens, I do? What happens if people don't like me? And then I got sick. Add two and two together. I was confused, I was overwhelmed, I was excited, I was really on a roll, and then I got scared, and I got that scared that I made myself sick because because I needed a rest, because I needed to think things through and realise in my own mind while I'm sick that I am awesome and there's nothing to be scared of. <coughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry everybody. Don't breathe for a second. Yeah. So, that's what I need to do. Well, I don't know what... What do I do? Heidi said, Well, I think you've just found out why you're sick. I think you just analysed the whole situation. And now, there's only one thing to do. Cherry said, What's that? What do I do? Do I pray? Do I say a mantra? Do I... Uh, do Do we do something on our vision boards? Um, I, I, do, I know. Do we need to do a ritual? Because I know lots of rituals. We can do rituals where we can burn candles and burn incense. And I can write something down on a note like, stop being sick. And then I can burn the note on, on my candle. But only in a safe safe way though. We don't go burning things, do we? Heidi and Veyabo said, no, good point. Yeah, we don't burn things without supervision. I know that. I'm not silly. But yeah, if I burnt my note... Then, and then I would let energetically let it go. We could do that, couldn't we? We could. Oh, said Heidi. You could just say, well, now I know why I'm sick. Thank you for showing me why I'm sick. And I don't need to be sick anymore. And your body will start to feel better. Cherry said, who am I thanking? Heidi said, well, you know, your friends, the the people or the, the spirits or source, God angels whatever you believe in that you think is there with you helping you along your journey it doesn't matter what it is thank them for showing you the message in your illness and then let it go oh right yeah well you know i do believe that i have a whole posse yeah i definitely have a posse and my posse is always really happy and they're always dancing whenever i feel them around i feel them always dancing or like scuba diving or like surfboarding or like roller skating or like going on roller coasters or like uh, flying in, in big balloons or like dropping from an airplane what's that called now uh oh gosh my head it's so foggy can't think what's it called when you jump out of an airplane Veya said um skydiving Cherry said yeah oh thank goodness yeah that, oh actually you know what I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed again I'm feeling a bit scared again I think I'm scared now that if I'm not sick then what do I do about this need this desire to be famous what do I do about it? Because if I'm not sick, that means I have to start to do something about it. And that means I can't just ignore it. And that means I'm going to have to face it. I'm going to have to face that I'm absolutely awesome. Which I already know. I don't know why I'm so frightened. I do know, though, that my light, you know, the shining bright light that I am, it can be blinding. And I think I just have to face the fact that not everyone's going to like me or the idea. Heidi said, no, you're right. You can't please everyone all the time. There's always people that aren't going to like you. That's just how the world works. Cherry said, I know, I know. And I don't really like how it works sometimes because I think everyone should like me. Because I don't do anything wrong. I'm kind, I'm sweet, I'm awesome, I'm active, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm just caring, I'm funny, I'm entertaining. Oh, <coughs> Oh, excuse me. 
I'm entertaining. Oh, I need a tissue. My nose is running. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so gross when I'm sick. Anyway, yeah. My light. What was I talking about? Freya said. You were talking about your light. Yeah, my light. My shining light. My, 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 my star inside of me. That. I'm just going to have to be okay if people want to wear sunglasses around me. That's it. It's as simple as that. Sunglasses it is, guys, because Cherry's going to shine. Cherry is going to shine brighter than ever before. I'm going to shine that bright that I'll be like a light at the top of, I don't know, a really tall building or something like that. I can't think of any. Like, I don't know. Uh, what's a really tall building? Heidi said. The leaning... Tower of Pisa, maybe, or the Eiffel Tower, or um, the Blackpool Tower. What? said Cherry. What's the Blackpool Tower? It's a tower in Blackpool, said Heidi. Where's Blackpool? It's in England, said Heidi. Oh, right, okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to be like that light on the top of Blackpool Tower, shining brightly for the whole world to see. Here I am. Cherry, and I'm famous, and I should be famous because I'm awesome. <coughs> oh, this cough, this cough. Heidi said, well, now that you've got it off your chest, maybe you'll stop coughing. Cherry said, oh, <coughs> genius, that's genius, that is. Putting those two things together, I've got something on my chest that I need to get off my chest. That is the message that I'm light and I'm going to be firm and I say everything's going to be all right and now I'm going to stop coughing. You're so clever. So clever. Oh, I need to go to sleep. Let's just lay down, please. Can you lay down and just snuggle me, please? Because I just want a blanket. I want some lemon water with honey in it and I want some some love and attention. Maybe a little back rub and, and maybe a paw rub. That'd be really nice. And, um, oh. Oh dear me, I'm so tired and I can't, can't keep my eyes open. <sighs> Cherry was asleep. Heidi and Vea snuggled deep down next to her on the bed. Could do a little back rub and a paw rub, even though she was fast asleep already. And then Heidi closed her eyes. And Vea closed her eyes. And before you know it, all three cats were... Dreaming away, dreaming about being famous and shining bright. The end. <laughs>